Hi, let's see how to start the course talking about buttons and switches, you know, the typical on-off device and the push button that you can press and release. And let's connect such devices to logic gates and you know that such devices are the same that you can find in any keypad or any keyboard. And so by means of resistors and batteries we will and buffers and not will generate the typical one and the typical zero symbols that are used through all the digital circuit uh, cores you know uh, csd so let's go on starting by these you know simple devices to generate ones and zeros if we have to learn the basics about voltages and digital values, ones and zeros, and, you know, buttons and switches and the way to get digital values like highs and lows and ones and zeros, we better uh, think about that kind of very simple circuits. We have in mind all the time a digital circuit with some inputs, for example, B1, B2, the up to bn minus one so n inputs and then you know that we think about m y's for example y zero y one and up to y m minus one so that's a typical digital circuit but you know this circuit has to be connected to the ground reference gnd and then to a given power supply like bcc let's imagine that this bcc is five volts or 3.3 or 24 volts that depends on the the application of the digital circuit and so that is what we have in mind so where the ones and zeros that we have to apply like that in every single input uh, came from right so that that question is well very simply answered like this you may imagine a switch two pos mechanical positions switch off and switch on making contact between these electrical wires or not that is the point or you may imagine a push button you if you are not doing nothing for example like this there is no contact so when you click you are generating an electrical contact in this device making possible to flow the current from the battery to the ground that way okay when you click you generate the current through this circuit and you know it can be like that using switches or push buttons and it can be uh, in this serious connection the battery the resistor and the switch or like that the battery the switch and the resistor so in some way or another you have here a node that you may call bi and using a wire you may connect this bi to one of the inputs of the system so this is an isolated push button the one that you have at home for switching on and off the lights in the room or it can be a key in the computer keyboard or key path it can be a key okay even if it is tactile in the end uh, you know doesn't matter when you are using a touch screen doesn't matter it is the idea of clicking the button and releasing the button so you have here two possibilities true or false switch open switch off switch closed so in that sense you know it is that simple you have to connect a battery that way for example let's imagine that circuit here now what you have in this situation when there is no electrical contact is that thing here you see there is no electrical contact the switch is off so there is no possibility to the current to the current to, to flow through the resistor in any way so this is a wire and so the the voltage that you have at the battery is the voltage that you get in the node vi so this is you know bcc what you get now in this position you see off the switch is off or the push button is not pressed and what you get is BCC in that device or in that circuit is different because if now the switch is off you see what you get is just a wire that takes the ground potential to that node so 
what you get here is zero volts because the ground logically normally we are simplifying that to zero volts so so and that here is the same because if you are not clicking the button it's that idea that the ground goes to this node pi so zero volts okay so zero volts is what we understand here in a digital circuit as a one so you may very well write that zero is equivalent to uh well no sorry zero is equivalent to a symbol zero that we represent like this like a zero crossed to make a difference okay and in this case here you have a zero okay here you have uh, this equivalency to a zero and in this case this voltage is equivalent to a one a high a true so you see that's the way to generate the one or as a zero depending on the circuit for the position of when you click okay when you click you are generating a contact here establishing an electrical contact in any hour or you click the button that's the same thing the you know the metallic part are touching the wires and so there is a contact so you are allowing the current flow through this way in this bcc r is the current that goes through this very simple circuit so no problem in this way because there is a perfect contact and there is no more resistance here you know what you've got in this situation is zero balls and here the same thing zero balls that you see it doesn't matter if it is a push button or a switch you get the same result because it's the same circuit in some way so now if you are making a contact in this other circuit you know where the resistor is down grounded you see what you get is the bcc and the con you see the bcc is connected to straightly to the vi and and here the same when you click the button you have bcc so very well in this case this zero you see is equivalent to the zero logic, the zero is equivalent to the zero logic, zero volts, I mean, and the here BCC is equivalent to the one, and that's the same case. So, and what is this BCC? Well, that depends on the application. You may have 24 volts for a track, or a large van, or whatever, uh, electrical equipment that goes digitally controlled. Or you may have a very teeny MP3 that goes with a single battery of 1.2 volts, or a digital watch, which watch in your in your arm. So that, that's the point, okay? So the BCC may very well go from one, from two volts up to any value, and that is any value indeed is any value. Our trains go up to 3,000 volts. So it's, you may very well say 24 volts, for example. We will keep that course in the low voltage, okay? 1.2 volts, 5 volts, that is going to be the norm. Because working with higher voltages and higher currents means drivers for the same thing and the same action, power actions, but it means using drivers and using other kind of electronics that it is not now the time to solve that kind of situations or applications we will keep that at the very low end 1.2 uh, another very common voltage is 3.3 .3 and logically the typical one of five volts that has been here five volts for 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 uh, four decades you know so that's the situation that is vcc and the resistance depends the resistor that depends on the what goes next and it has to be a, you know uh, it has to be not that low so that you are draining too much current for the action you see when you click the current flows and you are in some way wasting current wasting power so the the smaller the resistor the higher the current that you are wasting here power consumption and there is the other end the higher the resistor the smaller the current but the higher is the noise that you generate so that depends some way or another about the noise that is able to tolerate what goes next and that's the point the digital buttons and digital voltages are for driving 
the inputs of a digital circuit and here what you will find normally is typically you see what is connected here at the output of this circuit is normally a buffer or instead of a buffer an inverter which is equivalent it doesn't matter very much it's, it's the same idea because in the end what you want is to transform these voltages into ones and zeros so you see the idea of a zero and a one is very clear not at the input of the gate okay but at the output because from the output of the first level of gates is where you have the nans and the nons and the and the nors and the macro cells or the whatever else that is in the internal design of the digital circuit so here from these gates and on is ahead is where the digital circuit uh, is generated is working so you know when you have a push button you may very well talk about voltages for example 3.3 voltages is what i say as a one but at the output of the buffer, because the buffer is connected as well, you know, BCC, BCC volts, the same as the battery. Uh, and so when you have that kind of thing now at the output, yes, you have again another voltage. But indeed, what you have, what we will talk about here is about ones and zeros. So, this equivalence is going to be certain very very sure at the output so this is a zero right zero and we'll see now that is not exactly zero because we will talk about these gates now you see what are these kind of gates for example this is a classic digital circuit the 74 ls04 that's the chip that contains up to six inverters so this is a real gate so we will talk now next about the voltage margins related to a digital gate for real and what is all this about but now you may say that this zero becomes you know here if this is a not gate so this zero becomes a one so you see uh, you have a zero here so you have a one and if you have bcc you have the zero that way so because it's an inverter and in this case because it's a buffer it's not such because it's the same level if this is a zero you have a zero here right and if you have a one well right so this is a one so it doesn't matter very much so this is what we are interested in you see the ideal values uh, logical values zeros and ones that we will try to solve and use and manage by means of boolean equations and logic gates so this is what at the output and also you see at the input of the logic gates and where these generic symbols came from the true and false well from these simple circuits that's or instead you may have a more complex device like a sensor you know a parking slot detector uh, whether you may de decide if is there a car in the parking slot yes yeah, so you have a one there is no car detected so you have a zero the, the same idea okay is there a car running above the tarmac yes yeah, so you have a one you have detected a car running on the road no cars over the sensor so zero that's what the sensor does right you have the level of water up to this point in the tank yes so a one no water covering the sensor zero that 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 thing you have light in the room a one no light a zero so you see in general it's yes switches push buttons if you have a keyboard or that just like that just a push button anywhere or generally you will have sensors and, and things like that you know sensors of any kind that will generate digital values they, there is going to be a box that we will call sensor for example a light sensor here is the device that is sensitive to the light so if the device is receiving light in some way or another you are going to power this device again using a bcc voltage so if the this is the 
light sensitive element, the sensor indeed, and this is the kind of the adapter, the transducer. So yeah, they call that transducer, okay? So all the electronics associated to this uh, sensitive uh, device, it may be many, many things, you know, but if, if you are receiving some light, you have a one. No light, you see, no light, you receive a zero. So that, this is the level that probably will be connected to a digital circuit and the signal from this light sensor will be processed, okay? That, that's the idea here about these basics and introductory concepts of ones and zeros and digital voltages.